Hey, what's up guys? It's Foster from CB Speed, and May has been a little bit of a crazy month. We went all the way out to Utah to pick up our new 2022 WRX and road trip it back to Iowa. So some things have gotten a little bit delayed. So I'm sorry I'm only getting the new products video out to you guys now, but I promise you it's gonna be worth the wait. Subaru has offered many limited models of their STI over the years, but my personal favorite has always been the S209. I love the S209 because it has bold styling and it has super aggressive fender flares. Now luckily for you and me who can't afford these exclusive models, OLM is now offering the S209 fender flare set for your WRX and STI. Up until this point, you could get the S209 flares for the 18 and up models, and we had that installed on our car a while back. However, now they've redesigned their kit to fit for the 15 through 17 bumper, which includes the slightly different design. As you can see, it has integrated front canards and it looks really aggressive. So if you guys are looking to switch up the styling of your car, this might be a great option for you. Moving under the hood, let's talk about these beauties we got in this month from Process West. Process West designed an intake manifold specifically for the FA20 DIT, and it's gonna offer increased performance and it's just gonna look really great. It's made out of built aluminum and it's super strong. It's rated to about 100 PSI of boost, which is significantly higher than what your stock plastic intake manifold can handle. In addition, Process West designed the Plenum to be aggressive at low and mid-range torque levels while opening up power at higher RPM. But if you're looking to go one step further, they also have a version of this intake manifold with port injection and fuel rails, so you're not gonna run out of fuel if you go with that option. Either way, if you're looking to get the most out of your FA20, this is gonna be a great upgrade. Speaking of performance products, I've got good news for those of you who own a 2019 to 2021 WRX. Up until this point, you guys have not been able to run a lightweight crank pulley like this one here from Grimspeed. Luckily, Grimspeed engineers have figured out how to make the crank hub fit the older lightweight crank pulleys. So now you guys can get the benefits of reduced rotational mass and get a little bit more horsepower. Made from a durable steel alloy, this pulley hub adapter is gonna make sure that that oil pump is always properly driven, ensuring that your motor is protected. In addition, when coupled with a lightweight crank pulley, you're gonna feel the benefits of a motor that can rev a lot more freely. Hopping inside our 2022, we've got a couple new parts in this month from Subaru. The first is their short throw shifter. Now, I know we didn't get the full STI version of the VB chassis, but that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy some STI parts on your new WRX. The short throw shifter is gonna reduce your shifter throws, giving you a more precise and solid shifter feel. And it's kind of a personal preference, but for me, this would be one of the first upgrades I'd be looking to do to my new car. All right, moving to the rear of the new WRX. I know it's everyone's favorite angle to look at. We've got some new exhaust systems in from ETS. They've got a full catback system as well as an axle back. Now the axle back is pretty much just gonna be a muffler delete. It's gonna save you a bit of weight and it's also gonna give you a little bit more volume. And if you're looking for a quick and dirty way to make your car sound better, that's gonna be a good way to go. They've got a titanium tip finish as well as a stainless steel finish. But then for their catback, they also have a black tip finish and that's gonna save you significantly significant weight over the stock cat back. It's gonna give you some reduced turbo leg and a bump in power. So if you're looking for some increased performance and some increased sound for your WRX, this might be something to check out. All right, let's talk for a second about some parts that are Ford compatible for this new VB chassis. What's that mean? It means that Subaru used a lot of similar components on their new car. And if you wanna start modifying your car, these are gonna be a great place to start. First up, let's go over some high pressure radiator caps. We've got one here from Coil Rad, one from Greddy, and one from HKS. And these are all gonna add some nice bling to your engine bay. In addition, they're also gonna be rated at a slightly higher boiling point, which means that your car can dispense heat more efficiently. It's gonna be a nice upgrade for those of you who race your car and wanna give your engine the maximum amount of heat disbursement. In addition, they just look really cool and they're super easy to install. You can literally just take your old radiator cap off in a couple seconds, pop the new one on, and you're good to go. 
One of the most popular modifications people like to do to their car is change out its intake. Now, unfortunately, since this car is so new, there's no full intake systems available for the VB chassis yet, but there are some drop-in air filters, including this one here from K&N. Now, K&N advertises that it's gonna give your car a little bit more horsepower and performance. Might be small, but maybe noticeable. It's also gonna give your car better filtration as well, which I totally believe. And the cool part about this is it lasts the lifetime of the car. It's washable, and they suggest doing it every 50,000 miles, so you won't have to replace your air filter again, unlike the paper ones that come with this car. Now, all you have to do to install it is pop your air box off and pop your old filter out, and then you're good to go. Another quick and easy modification you can do to the engine bay of your VBWX is change out the battery tie-down. Perrin makes a battery tie-down in a couple different colors. We've got the red version here, and it's a nice way to add a little pop of color to your engine bay, and it looks a heck of a lot nicer than the one that comes in there from factory. One of my biggest pet peeves is seeing a brand new car like this get its front bumper drilled in order to run a front license plate. Luckily, we specifically asked the dealership not to do this to our WX because we're planning on running a Perrin license plate relocation kit like the one you see here. This kit's really nice. It uses the front tow hook location, and so there's no cutting or modification required. This just bolts right in, and it looks so nice. I think I'm just gonna have to go ahead and leave this on the car now. New this month from Faction Fab are their V2 coilovers for the VA chassis. Now these are completely redesigned and they're gonna be a huge improvement over their original V1 coilovers. In front of me here, I have the FL spec. These are gonna be more for a street build and that's because they've got a little bit more ride height adjustment. So if you wanna go a little bit lower, you can with these. And they've also got a rubber isolated camber plate, which is gonna reduce harshness and bumps while you're driving. Now, both of these coilovers have different spring rates, different valving and different damping, all to improve their performance. The FR spec over here is gonna be their top of the line performance coilover. And it's, again, it's got all these redesigned features. It's got 30 way adjustable damping, and they've also made the camber plates a little bit more offset to give you more negative camber. Now, Kevin runs the FR spec and his FRS. And I have to say, these coilovers actually ride really well. They do awesome on track, but if you wanna drive around town and take your car out on the street, they work fine for that too. So if you guys are looking at new suspension, you might wanna check these out. All right, so when you guys go to change your oil on your new WRX, you might wanna consider upgrading your oil drain plug as well. We've got a couple different options here that are compatible with the new 2022 WX. This one here from Gretti is a super strong magnet, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna pull any metal filings in your car's oil onto the plug, and it's gonna make sure that they don't stay in your car's engine where they can cause damage. Another option for you to consider is this drain plug from Fumoto. This makes it super easy to do oil changes once you install it. All you have to do is slide under your car, twist the lever, fill up your bucket with your oil, and you're pretty much done. It makes it super easy and it saves you a ton of mess. You don't get oil all over your arms, which is super nice. Due to the design that Subaru used in the rear arms of the WRX, you can't actually adjust the camber after you lower these cars. So once we start getting coilovers and lowering springs on these cars, you might wanna consider picking up a set of aftermarket control arms like these ones here from SPL. Now, whether you're going for a factory alignment setting or if you wanna have some negative camber for taking your car out to the track, this is gonna be what you need to get the job done. If you're a car enthusiast, you probably don't like wheel gap. I mean, just Look at how sunken in the factory wheels sit to the body of the car. Luckily for you, Faction Fab has some spacers available that fit this new gen of WRX available in 20 and 25 millimeter sizes. So let's go ahead and throw these on the car and see how they look. All right, well that's gonna do it for all the new products that we got in this month. I know there was a lot of products for the new WRX, but I promise we're gonna continue to support that VA chassis for all of you guys who still have the previous gen. Also, I need to go over our giveaway this month. For those of you who own a Subaru Forester, we've got a set of sequential taillights that we used to have installed on our shop Forester, and these are gonna add a really nice aggressive look to the rear end of your car. So if you're going for that and you wanna win in the giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below what your favorite mod is you've done to your Forester and tell me a little bit about why you like it. All right, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.